Hey guys, it's Game Face here, and welcome back to episode 52 of my Dortmund career mode. Now, in today's episode, we've got a game against Bayer Leverkusen to play, followed by another one or two matches, uh, a game against Ingolstadt coming up after that. After a little bit of a break, it might be an international break or something along those lines. And then a game against Tottenham in the Champions League. That's the group stage game. This will pretty much determine who finishes top of the group. Currently, they are ahead of us, um, I think, on goals scored or something like that. So it's really, really close. Uh, but we might get time for that in today's episode. Before we get into things, though, if we could go ahead and hit 35 likes on today's episode, I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. It'll be absolutely fantastic. The support on the last episode was absolutely incredible. Thank you all so much. If you didn't see uh, yesterday's double upload, then you can obviously still go ahead and watch that. This is the side I'm going to go with for this first game against Bayern Leverkusen. Obviously a very tough match. We're putting out a good team. Donnarumma is going to start in goal for us. Socrates at centre-back alongside Sewell and Christensen and Moreno and Roda in CDM. Go Pulisic, Bailey and Guerrero as my three attacking midfielders. Emery Moore and Lendowski up front. That leaves us with this sort of bench. There's a couple of players there that maybe you wouldn't expect uh, to be on there. Schaffer's on there. Schmitz and Richter are also on there as well. So some good young options if we need them uh, with a lot of players missing out through sort of tiredness and that sort of thing uh, after we played quite recently. But yeah, let's crack on with today's game. We're currently four points in front of Russian Russian Gladbach and we might have a chance to extend our lead if we can. But this is obviously going to be a very tough match here. So we'll wait and see what happens. Okay, here we go. We're playing against a team that have won the league, I think, in the last two seasons. Seasons, I want to say by Leverkusen. Uh, they've certainly been very competitive in the league in the last two seasons. So obviously this sort of game is going to be quite tough for us. But I think we beat them on penalties at last episode. Um, so it was very close in that game as well. This time now I want to try and win um, in the 90 minutes. Obviously there's no extra time or anything like that with it being a league game. But uh, hopefully we can beat them in 90 minutes. And I need a good performance from memory more Lendowski up front. It's a great start. Lendowski maybe going to go for the shot. That's maybe a penalty and it is. He's gone through the back of us four minutes in. And that is quite a clear penalty actually in the end. Really poor challenge. We seem to get a lot of penalties at the moment. We've had one or two in the last three episodes on both career modes, I think. Uh, but that's a really poor challenge on Lendowski. It was completely unnecessary. Gets the ball, but also goes through him as well. And it gives us an early chance to take the lead. Will it happen, though? Lendowski smashes it home. And we have taken the lead. Five minutes in, Lendowski from the penalty spot. And uh, it's as easy as that to take the lead. Will we be able to hold on to it, though? Oh, it's fallen for Emery Moore very nicely. It's a great chance here. They've just had themselves a corner. Can we get ourselves another goal? What a save that is. Beaten away by the goalkeeper. Decent strike for Emery Moore. I'm looking for him to contribute a few more goals to us. He's only had, I think, two goals so far this season. I know he doesn't play every single match, and he is kind of a rotated sort of player, uh, but I still want more from him. Basically, his, his stats are incredible. I mean, he's got some really, really good stats. The key stats that are necessary for a striker, he's the best in all of them, virtually, in our whole squad. Uh, it's just his other stats that let him down. His other stats are really low, but his key stats, like his finishing, dribbling, ball control, that sort of thing, are incredibly good. So he probably should be scoring more goals for us. That is it for the first half. Still winning the game 1-0. Haven't managed to keep on going after that first goal through Landowski. It's kind of the story of last episode as well, to be honest, not scoring enough goals. We've not created loads of chances, though, in this game, which is unlike the games uh, that we've seen in previous episodes. Um, so we need to create more chances, and we need to start taking them as well. Um, but that's kind of been the common theme, really, in the last few episodes, like I said. So uh, hopefully we can do that in this episode. I'm not expecting any sort of comeback from Bayer Leverkusen. I've not looked up to much so far. Hopefully that continues for us. Lendowski, supposed to find Rhoda, found their player. And Ray Moore going to try and use his pace here. Still going. Oh, it falls for him nicely. And Ray Moore straight to the goalkeeper. Good save, but uh, we will get ourselves a corner. Going to try and switch it to the receiver. See whether we can get that going nicely for us. Take the free kick. Sewell's in there. Will it fall from it? Might do. Oh, it was so close. Getting on his head. Okay, all three changed now. With 20 minutes ago, Schaffer, Arnold and Schmitz all to come on. That means Sewell, Pulisic and Moreno all come off. It was tempted to take off Lendowski or some of my bigger players. Um, but to be honest, I don't really need to. There's a big break before our next game. So it shouldn't really affect uh, that game. Uh, so there's no real need to bring on Dembele or anyone like that. Uh, so we'll go with a still quite a strong team, but brought in some of the youngsters, and uh, we'll see whether that uh, is going to be enough to try and find us a second goal. Pulisic, looking for Lendowski. Falls for Bailey, now to Roda. Going to look back to Bailey, still going on his left foot. Oh, gets blocked. Great chance. Needed a shot on target, though. 
Good chance for Leverkusen. Oh, it goes just behind our defenders. Still no chance to get the substitutes on. At this rate, they won't be going on the pitch. We're trying to cause a foul, but uh, hasn't managed to happen. I can't even foul anyone at the moment. Leon Bailey. Oh, we can find a pass, hopefully, to Emre Moll. He's running out of pace. He's still going, though. Can he make it 2-0? He's been caught up. Emery Moore finishes it off. That's what I said I wanted to see from him. More goals. And he's given us that. And it's now 2-0 in the final minute on the break. And we've secured the win with a doubling our lead in the dying stages of this match. So, yeah, very happy with that. Brilliant through ball there from Bailey. Picked him out. It wasn't too much uh, competition around him from the defenders. And he manages to put it past the goalkeeper. 2-0. And that should be how the game finishes now. That is it. That is how the game has finished. We've won the game 2-0, really happy with those three points. We'll wait and see what that does uh, to us in the league. Obviously, we'll remain top, but just whether we go any further in front. Uh, they actually had one shot, one on target in that game. Pretty poor display from them. Don't think their team was full strength. They might have made some changes. Maybe they had a game recently as well. Um, but yeah, certainly didn't seem to be up to much as as they usually are. They usually are quite a decent team, but uh, didn't look quite as good in today's game. But a 2-0 win, and we're very happy with that. Okay, so currently we're seven points in front of second place, but obviously Borussia and Gladbach and Schalke have still got to play. Uh, but yeah, Bayern moving up to second place briefly, potentially might move back down. Uh, but that does give a nice little bit of distance between uh, the top sort of two or three teams now uh, for us. That does give us a nice little bit of distance between us and second, third and fourth place at the moment. Obviously they've got a game in hand, so we'll see what happens with that over the next few days. Let's do some play drills now and see exactly what's going to happen. We've got a few players there going up uh, this week. We might look to change that round, I think, next week. But Schmitz is so close to 70 overall uh, that he'll probably remain in that. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to the next game now. It's going to be a long rest before we play the game against Ingolstadt. Okay, so originally I was going to change around the play drills. But actually, they look like they could make some decent progress this week. So we'll keep them for another week and uh, see whether they are able to do that. Mm, yeah, a few of them are. I was hoping Richard's uh, shot power was going to go up. I was hoping Schmitz would go up. He doesn't, sadly. So a little bit disappointing this week. Uh, we've got some emails to take a look at, most of which uh, the contracts that I've offered to players off camera. Weigel and Pass like they're getting new uh, three-year deals. I think both of them uh, improve squad roles as well. Um, there's not a massive amount of point to be doing that because obviously this is my last season, but I just wanted to do it anyway. They had eight months left on their contract. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that they weren't going to leave uh, in January for a cheaper amount or they weren't going to leave on a pre-contract agreement, which I know they would only go at the end of the season, but still it kind of disturbs things a little bit in the squad, so I offer them a new contract anyway. And uh, we've got a couple of players wanting to play actually in this game. Um, the youngster, the 18-year-old there, wanting to start. We'll wait and see whether we can fit him into the team or not. It's unlikely, to be honest. Maybe he'll come off the bench or something like that. And Royce also wants to play as well. Okay, this is side I've gone with. For the game against England's side, we've got Donnarumma starting in goal. Ori 8 centre-back alongside Sewell and Socrates. We've got Weigel and Goethe in front of them with Royce, Vendel and Dembele as my three centre-attack in mids. Iron Atchel and Landowski as my two strikers as well. So a pretty decent squad, actually quite a strong team. Obviously that young star gets on the bench here. We should hopefully find an option for him to come on during the game. Uh, we've got quite a strong bench. We do have Origi missing out. We've got Emery Moore on there as well uh, if we need him to play. So yeah, there's a few players missing out. Like I say, yeah, Torre, Moreno, Origi, Christensen, those sort of players uh, are missing out for today's game. But we'll wait and see uh, how we get on against Ingolstadt. It should really be three points in the bag here considering uh, some of the other teams we've played and beaten recently. Uh, but yeah, not really too sure what to expect from this one. We do have a game against Tottenham in three days or four days' time. Hmm, maybe I should have put out a weaker team. I wouldn't usually do this, but so I'm actually going to change around the team. Um, originally, I was going to go for a bit of a stronger side, but actually it doesn't make sense with Tottenham in four days' time. Such so an important game there. So Donnarumma, Tarr, Socrates, Christensen, Prokop, Yaya Torre, Arnold, Vendel, Alexander-Arnold, with Emery Moore and Ariki up front, leaving us with that sort of bench. We will put Lendowski on there as well, just in case we need him. Uh, but yeah, sorry about that. Thought I'd just change it round, see how we get on with this sort of side. Uh, a couple of players obviously remaining in the team, but uh, majority of them did get changed there because... I realise with Tottenham, you've got to really win that game, so we will hopefully try and do that. But first of all, let's try and beat Ingolstadt in the league. Okay, here we go. Will we be able to get ourselves a decent result against Ingolstadt with a change team, uh, a late change team as well, so uh, completely unplanned for, but hopefully that won't affect things. And uh, they have actually started very quickly here at Ingolstadt. A great chance has opened up. Donnarumma just about gets his hand to it. Very quick start from them. Always seems to be the case that one of us will start pretty quickly and have a decent chance to score from. Hopefully, it's not going to be them. Another save from Donnarumma. Wow, this is very unexpected for Ringlow's dad. Was not expecting such a strong start uh, or such a strong performance at all from them. Was cleared though this time round. 
Origi on to Emre Moore. Now we can counter-attack them. We know about his pace. He's getting in behind. He has no support whatsoever. Can he finish this off? All oh, gets brought down. Could have been something. It might actually be an injury instead of a penalty. Uh, that won't be good for us. We'll continue to have a look at that one. Hopefully there's nothing too serious there. They're in behind us again. Arnold can't beat him. Could have been a penalty there or a free kick, wherever it was. It would, I think, be a foul. Uh, but I don't know why the referee hasn't given it. Letters off the hook there. Arnold did seem to make connection with them and bring him down. Don't know why he's found himself on the right-hand side. The players are not keeping to the positions at the moment, which is a bit frustrating. Emery Moore's still off the pitch. He's not come back on yet. Hopefully he does. And a good chance here through Vendel. Going to hold this one up for Alexander-Arnold. Need another player in the box. Origi. Oh, gets taken out. That is a penalty. Why are we getting so many penalties? I mean, I can't complain too much because it's helping us. Um, if we score, that is. Uh, but yeah, we got another penalty. This time the goalkeeper it was uh, bringing us down. We could have had one earlier on. But uh, yeah, I don't, don't really know whether it's a penalty to be honest. I know he wipes him out, but I don't see it too much of a penalty. We'll obviously take it. And we have to do, we have to take Emre Moore off. Great. That's a little bit late, but thanks for letting us know anyway. Because I'm keen to keep Lendowski on the bench and try and not use him if I can, we're going to bring on Bailey and take off Emre Moore. See whether that um, does anything. I'm hoping that Bailey has a good performance up there, but uh, we'll wait and see. And it's going to be Origi to step up and take the penalty. Oh, I changed at the last second. Never change at the last second. I just had a feeling he was going to save that one. And he wasn't. Instead, he went the right way. Just as I changed, I always go for the right-hand side. I just felt that it wasn't the right way to go this time. And it was saved by the goalkeeper. Disappointed we can't capitalise on that. Needed to take that chance if we could. Now Socrates is hopefully going to get on the end of this one. It's fallen for him and he heads it, but it's straight to the goalkeeper. Origi looking for Alexander Arnold. It's a fantastic run. Going to look for Bailey in the middle. He's hit that one. Very strange. It looks like it was going to go out for a throwing at first, but eventually it somehow goes towards goal, but bounces very high over the bar. Strange style of shots, but uh, a good start anyway from him playing up front. Maybe should have done better with that one, but uh, still gets in the right position. That's it for the first half. Still over on the game, nil-nil. Very frustrating at the moment. It has kind of been quite an even game, to be honest. We've had more shots than them, as you can see from the stats. Um, but yeah, it has been a fairly even match. They've been better than I expected them to be. Uh, we need to start scoring some more goals, though. At the moment, we're not doing well enough in scoring goals, creating chances. Um, but yeah, a bit disappointing at the moment, but... Got to keep on going. Hopefully we can find one. We need to be beating this sort of team at least 2-0. I mean, with that sort of pass, it's not going to happen. Okay, so the final two changes. What we're going to do now is bring on Lendowski and Guerrero. We've got no option, really, but to do that. Uh, we might swap those two round, actually, as well. Origi and Arnold will both come off. Yaya Toro move into the centre attacking mid position. Vendel, as a, kind of like a CDM, will play him there, see how he gets on. 25 minutes left. We've got to find a goal. Did not want to be bringing on Lendowski, but hopefully 25 minutes won't mean that he's going to have to miss the next game. I think he'll be fine in four days' time to play the full 90 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Into Guerrero. Great chance for us here. Bailey going to look to try and bring it inside. Still going. Lendowski's only had a few touches and he smashes that one away on his left foot. It comes off the bar and goes in. That's such an important goal for us. It gives us hopefully the three points with six minutes to go. No idea how that's gone in. Was not expecting a goal here. Uh, but Bailey there, just brilliant bit of play. He takes a couple of touches. He smashed it any further to the left. I think that's going to not go in. He's just about got it in there. Killed it just about on his left foot. And it's gone into the back of the net. 1-0. Five or six minutes to go. That's only his first sort of second second and third touch maybe from Lendowski. He's not been involved whatsoever since coming on. But he has scored a really important goal for us there. Which should give us the three points. But there's still time left. There's still time that we need to defend. Come on, Bailey. He's still got some pace in him. He's still going. Can we actually find a second here across the box? Oh, he gets put back into the box, but there's no one there this time. So close. Could really be two. We managed to hit them on the break, but uh, nothing came of it. And into the final. Added on minutes. Might even find another chance here. Yaya Torre is stumbling through, but uh, it then gets cleared by the defenders. That's it. We've won the game 1-0. What an important goal it was for Lewandowski. The substitute scoring it with just five or six minutes to go. And uh, that's given us a 1-0 win. Not convincing. We've had the better chances. That was obvious. We were the better team uh, for that second half in particular. Uh, but yeah, we definitely deserve to win. So very happy with that. 
Uh, Lendowski can't believe he scored a goal there so late on and uh, did not look like happening either. Okay, so this week we've got some more player drills here. Schmitz goes up to 70 overall. Schaffer's very close to 71, but Silva goes up to 64 as well. So very good news for us this week, looking much better. And that means we can probably change it up for the next episode. Let's take a look at some emails. Let's find out how long Emery Moore's going to be out for. Bear in mind we've got Sanchez out for three months already. Please don't be a bad one. Four weeks with a sprained ankle. Sanchez broke his ankle. Uh, we've got a sprain here for Emre Moore, so he's out for four weeks. Not great. Royce was disappointed not to start. I can't help it. I want to play him for this game against Tottenham, so I'm kind of helping him out a little. I'm playing him in the better games, um, so I don't know why he's complaining, to be honest, but uh, he is anyway. He'll be playing for this next game against Tottenham. Let's decide on the team now and uh, see what side we'll be able to put out. Okay, so this is how I'm going to go with for, for the game against Tottenham. We've got Donnarumma starting in goal, Aurier, uh, Sewell, Socrates, Rhoda, Weigel, Dembele, Goethe, Royce, Iannaccio and Lendowski all starting for us. This is the bench I've gone with, quite a strong bench there in case we need them. And uh, yeah, that's where we find out how he gets on. Obviously a crucial game for us if we win, then that puts us top of our group, which would be great for us. Uh, if we don't, then obviously that could cause us some issues and potentially mean that we don't qualify first. Uh, although it seems like we probably will qualify to the next round, whatever happens really. Uh, it'd have to go disastrously wrong for us not to do that. But yeah, let's crack on with the game and uh, it is the final one of the episode. Let's find out how we can get on. Well, yeah, that's Deli Alley. Janssen, what a goal that was. I mean, it's offside, but what a bit of build-up play that was. Such quick, intricate passing. We couldn't stop them and that's a sign of what Tottenham are capable of. Ten minutes in, luckily it won't count, but what a bit of build-up play that was. Just managed to hold the line, which obviously we planned to do. Um, but, yeah, that could have been 1-0 down after ten minutes. Dembele looking for Inacho. Oh, what a header that was. Out of nowhere, Lloris with the save. And uh, let's give us a front post corner. Or not, just a terrible one instead. Well, oh, actually, Socrates made something of it. Lendowski. Oh, I thought it was going in the bottom left. So close, just wide of the target. Oh, Deli Alley's through. Donnarumma's come rushing out with a fantastic challenge. Could have easily gone wrong, but it doesn't. And uh, we've managed to just about sort out that attack. Again, though, Tottenham looking a threat. Uh, that's the only downside to three at the back. I've said it before. It does leave you a little bit vulnerable at times at the back. But that just makes for more entertaining games, I think. So that's why I've kept with it. Uh, because it's meant that we're less defensively solid and better going forward. So more entertaining matches, hopefully, for you guys. And uh, Rhoda there into Iannaccio, who's turning on his right foot. Oh, better shot than I expected on his weaker side. Rhoda onto Dembele, bags of space to run into. Now needs to find the right cross, Dembele. Ah, it's going to be offside, even if he was to get to it. I was looking more for Lendowski, but I couldn't find him. A couple of minutes left of this first half. Really good first half uh, from both teams. But still, I can't believe it's nil-nil. How has there not been a goal in this game? Goethe, a brilliant pass to Dembele. Need to find someone now in the box. Oh, just again, the delivery wasn't quite what I was hoping for. Lendowski getting in some great positions, but haven't managed to be able to do anything from those chances yet. Remains nil-nil, but a really good match. Hopefully that can continue into the second half. Need to find a goal, though, because even though a draw will be okay, I want to win. I want to make sure we're definitely top after this game. Royce. We're now going to try and pick out Lendowski. He arrives late, and he can't quite find him. He needed to speed up a little bit there, Lendowski. Shame, because it was a perfect ball from Royce. Still a little bit of time, about 20 minutes now to go, but we're not looking like scoring. We need to create another chance, and we haven't really created a clear cut one in a little while now. I'll look to the bench in a second uh, after this attack, I think. <sighs> let's, let's look to the bench now. Okay, all three changes. Origi, Guerrero, Moreno all coming on. That means Roda, Goetze, and then injured Iannaccio are all going to come off. We've got about 20 minutes left. We need to find a goal. Obviously, we want to try and get the three points. Uh, hopefully, with those changes, we are able to do that. Need a good performance from Guerrero. I want to see some crosses going in from him to hopefully pick out Lendowski. And can we find Origi there? It was an early chance, but it's a bit of an optimistic one. Royce looks for Origi. That's brilliant. Origi! Oh, the shot isn't quite good enough. It's right at Lloris. Made it easy for him. It is a corner, though. Uh, we are going to switch to the receiver and uh, see whether we can cause them any sort of issues in here. What's the ball going to be like? Aurier's in there, Lloris punches it away, and there's nobody really there to capitalise from that. Could do with another late goal here, Moreno going to try and find the pass, and it's well over hit. Oh, that's terrible. On his favoured foot as well. Guerrero not really being involved here, but could he find a special cross into the box? Guerrero, Royce is in there, so is Lendowski, two diving headers, and yet nobody could actually get on the end of it. And another chance, but uh, Sissoko intercepts it. 
Now that they've drawn the game nil nil, obviously it would be nice to have beaten them and you know make it more likely that we're going to go through top, but that just means it's now going to go down. So I think there's the final game. I think there's only one more match to play. Um, so we'll go down to that one as to who will finish top. But that is pretty much everything for today's episode. It's a shame that we didn't get a result there. We seem to struggle to score goals for some reason. I'm not really too sure why. Uh, we're having loads of good chances. It's just not going in the back of the net. Uh, it's a bit frustrating, but uh, it makes things more interesting, more challenging for us. Uh, we are seven points in front of Bayern now uh, in the league as well. So uh, it seems like the other teams below us uh, before couldn't capitalise on their game in hand. So that's everything for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If we could go ahead and hit 35 likes on today's episode, I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Don't forget, you can watch another video here as well of mine. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, then you can at GameFaceHD. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching and goodbye.